Okay, we're going to cut our first sheet of 4 by 8 3 quarter at 57 for the rockers. And the 57 inch piece will be used for the rockers. And then we're going to use this for the top. The second sheet we have marked off at 69. That's going to be for the top and the sides of the oven. Okay, um, we're going to cut the plywood up at 8 inch strips by 57 for the rockers. I just cut up the pieces for the, the bottom strong back for the uh, oven and now we're going to assemble it. Spacer. A neat trick is when you're cutting your spacers, you measure one, say this one's 27 inches, then I just use the same one for patent, then I don't have to use my tape every time. And you get a perfect measurement. That easy. Okay, this morning we're going to assemble the strong back frame for our post cure concave rocker forming oven for our carbon fiber high performance type boards. We're going to start with the strong back, which is the frame, and then we're going to go and um, We'll be using these boards here for the rocker, to form the rocker, and we'll use them to use the, uh, form the concave as well. They'll be uh, a positive on the top and negative on the bottom, and we'll cover that in another segment, but that's what these pieces are here. So first, what we're going to do is we're just going to assemble this. And then we'll go on from there and um, design our rocker. On the bottom shapes, we're going to be doing two. I'm going to start with a moderate rocker, like a three-step flat in the center, slightly tapering up, and then a little more quicker at the at the tails. And then we'll do our standard bottom which will be a continuous rocker which will have to some people would be an extreme rocker and is basically my favorite so let's get started These four will be for the top, strong back, okay, so this will be the bottom. The bottom is smaller in width compared to the top, which allows me to put a side on it which will come, to, come and close it down and guide this, guided the rockers into the correct position plus hold the heat in because we're going to insulate this oven and we'll see that in another video. So these two will be for the top. Put them out of the way. Stop the two of these.
It's really hot and muggy here today, 84 degrees, 84 percent humidity, and it's threatening the rain. Typical summer Florida weather. Uh, just clamping it to help hold it in nice and square in the right position. Sometimes dealing with dimensional lumber, it's best just to keep everything flush on the top because that's where we're going to be mounting our rockers from. So that's where we really want it to be nice and Now, I like to use a pilot drill just because it makes it easier for me. You don't have to, but I choose to. Uh, okay. Also, when you use a pilot drill, it helps you from uh, moving the, the wood out of square when you put it together. Oh, that's pretty good. Now we're going to install the braces in the corner. These I like to screw from the inside. I think it's stronger. And this will help keep it square and together as we move them around. If you Sometimes you have to back them out to get them flat up against the, the surface because they pull away when they just break, break through. There you go, perfect. Okay, now we'll just, now we'll just repeat this for the top.
Now these pieces are where we're going to set the rocker panels onto. And they're going to be six inches in from the end. Check the square. This one. All right, here's our rocker panel the, for the bottom. What I've done is I've marked out the Pacific points measurements, my waypoints, to give me my rocker. So when I use my trusty carbon fiber batten, I just scribe the line, and then I flip it over and do the same on the other side, lining these up. that then I pull the nails out and then we're going to go and cut it with the saber saw